I'm Garrett Gamber, and uh, this is Starbound. I just found the sword that sprays bubbles everywhere. <laughs> this is really cool. I'm not even that far into the game, and I've already found some amazing loot. Does that push enemies back? What is this? Let me find out. Oh my god! That's so cool, it's like a wall of force. Wow. That's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah, so last time when we left off, I was trying to manage my base. And that was actually literally a couple of hours ago. I'm recording it now, because I am. Not sure when I'll get this video out, but maybe in a day or so. I don't know. I don't know. Could be a year. <laughs> Hopefully not. That would suck. Uh, yeah, so... I found an awesome weapon here. Um, I came across a few interesting sites while I was exploring and all that. I found some cultists and bandits. I managed to kill them. I got a bandit hat. However, this is not the bandit hat. This is the snow gear. I'm thinking about making an exploit to... Uh... Hello? Who is that? Oh, she sells stuff! That's really cool. Um, goods for pixels. Huh? Wait, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything! It was him. It was him. Ow. No. You leave her alone. That's not nice. Um, well, sucks that I couldn't really get anything there, but... Whatever, it was just clothing. Yeah, you get pushed back by the bubbles. Ow, that really hurts. Oh, the bubbles do do... actually do do that. They do damage. <laughs> you do do damage. You do do damage. Okay, let's find her, see if she's okay. No, she's definitely dead. Oh boy. Um, I'm just gonna head this way. Must be a town nearby. I don't know. I found a bunch of, like I said, cultists, and I found a, uh, a bandit area, like a campsite, and I ended up getting their their camp, which is pretty cool. Two chests. Uh -oh. oh, that's a bandit. Yeah, these are bandits. No. <laughs> Fusroda! Okay, this sword is ridiculous. They... No contest. Oh, okay. Never mind. You have a gun. Aw, oh, man. Well, I died. That's what happens. So we're going to smelt some iron and make ourselves a better bow, because we can. And I have just enough, which is great. So, uh, let's go back to our adorable little ship here. Click on that. And Iron Hunting Bow. Which is so much better than what we have. Monsters kill bow drop tasty meat. Yeah, I know that. I'm aware of this. Okay, so we have a better bow. We upgraded our plum bow. Ooh, that looks awesome. Oh wow, it's so much faster. Okay, there we go. We're gonna head back onto the planet and explore. Try to get a... Something, I don't know. We've gotta get something. You know what? We need more leather to make... Oh wow! That's a one-shot! Holy damn! Yeah, you guys are no longer scary. And I can get as much leather and meat as I need. Maybe we'll stand a chance against those bandits. I mean, we've got an awesome sword, but it's, you know, as you can see, against a gun. Stop it! Bad Power Ranger. Up oh, butt. Yeah! Those guys love to drop meat instead of leather, so we need some leather. Oh, they're all dropping meat now. I'm hoping I can still get leather. That would be really nice. 
I also noticed something. Um, there isn't a nighttime cycle on this planet. There mustn't be a close by star. Come to think of it, I haven't seen the sun in the background either. I don't know. Ah, oh, man, they're not dropping any leather. Maybe, uh. Oh, wait, yet? Yeah, no, they do. It's just rare now. Okay. <laughs> ah! Get out of my cave! There we go. Let's kill Gulliscore. <laughs> Ow! Ow! I'm on fire! Oh, man. That hurts a lot. I wish I could have uh, showed you guys the creature that dropped this sword. It was this large toucan creature. It was very big. But, uh... It was a nice addition. I didn't think I'd get something that cool that early, but, yeah. You know, some people are having better luck than others. And I'm, I'm having a pretty decent run here. Uh, I found a lot of iron. As a matter of fact, there's iron right there. There is a lot of iron on this planet. And quite a lot of coal. So I'm definitely going to be able to go very far whenever I so wish. I think, though, I'm going to try to stay on these two planets for a while and farm as much stuff as possible. Um, that will include, of course, my uh, snow planet. Farming snow, farming ice. I'm trying to see if there's anything of value there, because I have not been there yet, and there could be something pretty decent. I mean, I've already found several NPCs on this planet, so... I don't know. Oh yeah, might as well show you guys some water physics here, if you haven't seen any videos on this game. The water is amazing. It runs so smooth, and it, it actually flows. You can actually uh, create special pumps to pump water in directions you see fit. Where'd that other piece of iron? There you go. Hey, there's some guys down here. <laughs> wow, they glow red when they die. That's awesome. I didn't even know that. So it lets you know if something's dying near you in the dark. Um. So we're gonna check out this water. What's that? Nothing. There's a little bit of copper, but we don't really need that. I like bigger copper. Larger veins would be nicer. Uh, so let's... Like, there's two there, but meh. I want to kill those bandits. I want to pay them back, because they're really annoying. I wonder how much damage this bow will do, too. Who knows, they might drop a gun. Oh, wow. We sh we one-shotted them. Nice. We got bombs, which is pretty cool. Come here, you. You want to face the bubble sword? Bubble sword, yeah. And we got his hood. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take it. You know what? Let's use this while we can. <laughs> We're going camping! Yeah! Okay, so we got a barrel fire, which is cool. Um, bandit's hood. We had the bandit's cap before, so the hood's a bit better. But... This thing that I craft is much better. I'm assuming it's better. Uh, I don't know what all the symbols mean. I think that the sun symbol means environmental protection. So, as it stands, or, or warmth, it might just be warmth. Uh, that would make sense. It's the sun. So, uh, I'm definitely not going to freeze when I go on the ice planet, but I want to get more pieces of that gear, if I can, the entire gear. So I've got to get a lot of leather to do that. This cobblestone. Like I said, I'm not going to make this a large series yet. I'm unsure of if you guys even want to see this content. Uh, on top of that, it's being continuously fixed. Um, new patch stuff is changing things around. Characters are getting deleted. Like this character probably won't be here for much longer. I'm enjoying playing her, but Betsy Blowhole is going to get blown away at some point. I've always wanted to say that. Yeah, she's not going to last forever. Uh, so, yeah. I don't really 
no if I want to continue doing the series simply because my character and my progress are going to get destroyed and at least in the seven days to die thing it's a survival game as it is you can always come back from losing everything that's to be expected but in this game your entire character your world it's all gone when they do an update eventually that won't be the case hopefully soon hopefully soon so i'm curious anyone who's watching this have you thought about uh, what character you want to be? Because there's plenty of races. You have a plant race, you have the ape race, humans, like this character. There are fish people, bird people, and there there's a robot, and I believe there's one more that isn't added in yet. It's the uh, Novakid, which is like a energy race. I've definitely wanted to be the energy race, simply because they're energy, and I think they might glow in the dark. That would make sense. But, yeah, you know, tell me in the comments which you prefer and why. There are racials, but not all of the racials are known right now. Uh, for instance, the water race can live underwater indefinitely. They can make that their home, which is pretty cool. I don't know what humans can do. Maybe we get more money? <laughs> hey! Ah! Damn, they're tricky. I notice the best way to handle one animal at a time is to... Wow. Is to wait for it to jump. Uh, of course, in tight quarters, you can't really do that. Who's down here? It's not a whole lot. Whoa. Now let's go up here, please. Go. Yeah! Get out! You can't attack them if they're on you. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I notice also you're not supposed to run from them. If you run from them, then they uh, they just charge you. Well, that's unless they're using the ability to charge, but he was just jumping around like an idiot. It was kind of mean. I'm gonna get this copper here. Alright. We just murdered the shit out of something. Oh, it's okay. You can join your friends soon. Where's my... There we go. Join him in hell. <laughs> can we hit him from here? Yeah! We got, um... And we got leather. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, I think I might hold off on getting more... Uh, copper. Ooh. Ooh. The bandit camp. Well, I'm gonna take your little tent in front of you, and there's nothing you can do about it. He's right there. We don't know what kind of weapon he has. Let's see. Can I... Funny looking person. <laughs> oh, okay, well they're gonna fight something, and while they do that, we're gonna take this. They mean it. Oh, we killed him. Let's show this uh, warrior the might of our bubble sword. <laughs> it's pushing her back. You killed so and so. Well, who cares? You were trying to kill me. Congratulations. You're dead. I think he just figured his time was up. See if there's any more loot. I don't like fighting them in the caves. There's a thing here. Alright. Uh, can I get back up? Yep. I wonder if I can climb these. No. No, we can't climb those. That's sad. Okay, we're gonna just... Ooh, there's a chest up there. That chest. Give me that chest. Rickety 
wabbler. A steel drum. Copper, which is great. Wow, we've got a lot of copper. We got a shit ton of pixels. We got some more coal. And we got some silver ore. Nice, 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 nice. So we're gonna take your chest. Thank you very much. We're gonna go back down here and see if there's anything worthwhile. Well, there wasn't anything down here. It was a little disappointing. Whoa! Come on. Let me get up there! Here we are. Okay. And we're having this problem. Never mind. Jumping is really nice, and the overall controls are quite smooth. Quite enjoy that. Uh, oh, we've got a thing over here. Oops. Yeah, there we are. Oh, that's too deep. I want to go down there. Oh, we got another one of these weird plants. Mmm, looks like grapes. It is grape. <laughs> Who would have thunk it? Chop down this tree. Collect the wood. This planet is quite large. I haven't, uh... Haven't been able to run around the map and find my base going one direction, so you can actually run across the world, which is really neat, if you didn't know that. Uh, so if I kept running in this direction, I'd eventually reach my camp, and I haven't done that yet, so I'm assuming this is a fairly large planet. Eventually they'll add in some sort of gravity thing, because they were talking about that as part of the weather and the creatures, the randomization, there would be random gravity. need some leather. That's all great and all, but I need some leather. Will you give me leather? No. <laughs> I can't even hit you. Oh, no. There we go. Eee. Hmm. We have to dig through this, otherwise we'll never get up. Might as well get some... Tiny bit of copper along the way, right? Might as well. So, we are digging. And surprisingly, this is the first time I've ever seen night in the game. So, there is a day-night cycle, but it's incredibly long. So, I'm a little fearful about night. Could have been just a glitch, but it was daytime the entire time there. Actually, nighttime. It's a little bit spooky. Wow, it's falling really fast, though. Holy shit. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I love these flashlight effects. They're just. The, they're the bee's knees. Yeah. Thank you for your meat. We got plenty of meat. Like, we go to the frosty planet. Even if there aren't creatures there, we'll have enough to survive long time. Yeah, there we are. Well, he was easy to kill. Hey. I don't want to take any chances. <sighs> I don't know what that thing was, but I didn't want to take any chances. <laughs> Maybe we'll find out later if it's friendly or not. Oh, these hills, mountains, whatever you want to call them, they're killing me. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to uh, dig through this again. I'm going to speed it up because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me dig. You've seen enough of that. Alright. Uh, so I'm... I have to say, I'm quite amazed at how long a pickaxe will last. They don't actually destroy, get destroyed when you use them up. There's a little uh, durability meter there, and I've got one block missing. Um, they just become less effective, and you can always repair them. Actually, that's the best thing you should do. You shouldn't really waste time in uh, trying to make another one. The thing I'm amazed at is this thing 
just now lost a durability tick, and I've been using it like crazy. What is that? I don't know what you are. Ow. Well, you're dead now. Ooh. The world kind of jumped around there for a moment. It's enemies are a lot tougher at night. Uh, and there are some types of enemies that are new when it's dark. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. I've been wanting a good exploration game for a while. Uh, we're gonna die. Oh god. I don't know what he is. No, never mind. Our sword's keeping us alive. Oh my god. That thing scared the crap out of me. As much as I'd love to stay around, I'm worried I'm gonna die. Mm. Have a first time. First. <laughs> I can't talk tonight. What is this? Oh, I'm so tired. That's the problem. I wanna shut. Ooh. Ooh. We found a chest. <gasps> a spear stopper. Does that mean to have his description set? What? And we got a decrep rubbish, which is like a spear of sorts. A silly badgerer. So we're gonna take this chest. Might be bandits around here. I seem to have a lot of bandits on this planet. Hello? Err, oh, that thing is horrifying. It doesn't appear to be hostile, but it could be. Let's get our sword out just in case. Hello? Oh wow, it's friendly. Okay. Um, Nightmarish Preacher is actually friendly. That is not, though. We already established that. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Staying out of the cave. Oh, okay. Thank God. They look they look very scary, but uh, they're actually friendly, which I'm surprised. And I really don't want to tango with anything with this low health. We can actually sleep. So let's do that. I just realized we don't have to head back, because we have something to help us sleep. Let's grab some earth. Do we have any? Where's it all been going? Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> okay. So we're going to rest here. Uh, and I'm going to speed up the sleeping because it does take a while. Um, it's okay, though. You know, it makes it feel more real. Like, you have to be conscious of your efforts and be careful about what you do in the game. So, otherwise, you're going to spend a long-ass time healing. So, I'll be back. I just noticed something really cool. Uh, you can actually see names that are incomplete. So indescribable horror. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. So apparently half these items are called test bushes and test flowers, and that's really cool. Um, not really useful information, but it's cool. Okay, so we're gonna take that back because that's ours now, and we'll make camps wherever we go. Um, you can actually, while sleeping, you can craft items and use items, which is really good. It's a good time saver, so you're not just doing nothing when you're sleeping. You can still craft and make things. It saves you a lot of time. Ooh, 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 that is a item that is pretty good, unless it backfires, so let's grab it. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Yes, I'm go you're gonna watch me dig this time. You deserve to have one moment of digging. but 
it's too small. That's what she said. Alright. So, what we do is... <gasps> Ow! Okay. Um, that one was bad. <laughs> some of them are good, and some of them are bad. And there's no way to tell. Oh, man. I ran across something similar when I found the cultists. They, uh... Kind of attack... Why is my character bald? I'm not bald. I'm not bald. I have a hair. Whatever. Alright, well... We do have the opportunity now to... Do nothing, apparently. Because we don't have the items on us. What can we do? What needs doing besides the obvious? It has to be something not very obvious. We need more leather. I would like to make the chest piece. But that's a lot of leather. We're going to go back down to the planet. Figure our shit out. And it's morning, miraculously. All right. Let's go hunting while we walk. Oh. Ah. Well, he's gone. Next time, Grimace. Next time, we will get you. Bronte. Let's get him. We're terrible shot for some reason. There we go. We've got plenty of meat. Like... Whoa! Yeah, we're never going to run out of meat at this rate. Let's see? We've already got a stack going. Oh, apparently we killed something and didn't pick up the meat. Yeah. Six pieces already. Iron bows rock. I kind of like being an archer in this. I didn't like it in Terraria, because the whole ammo and shit. And this, you don't need ammo. It's implied that you have ammo. Come here, Charizard. There we go. He dropped more meat. Please drop the leather. Yeah, there we go. He dropped meat. He did not oblige my leather request. He dropped leather. Thank you. Kabushki! There we go. Nope! There we go. Getting a lot. We're becoming quite the expert hunter. Even so much to shoot enemies in the butt at point blank range. Let me tell you how hard it is to actually shoot a bow off in close quarters. <laughs> I have a real long bow that I use at Renaissance fairs, and, uh,. I've used a LARP bow before in LARP combat. If you don't know what LARP is, it's quite fun, actually. It's live-action role-playing where you dress up as a character and you go around beating the crap out of your friends with foam weaponry. It is very nerve-wracking and difficult. I'm killing everything now. <laughs> um, very nerve-wracking and difficult to kill things. Uh, sorry, not to kill things. <laughs> to uh, shoot people. Oh, yeah, that sounds wrong. To shoot people with a LARP bow. Um, and that's as close to a real bow as you can get in an actual LARP event. You're not supposed to use a real one, of course, because it could kill someone. It could actually hurt them. Um, but it's it's really difficult to shoot a target that close to you when you have a tension line. It's incredibly difficult. So, uh, yeah. If, you, if you're into Dungeons & Dragons, if you're into fantasy and you want to live it, if you're a cosplayer, even, you love LARP. It's fun. I'll tell you, though, oh my god, what a workout. Like, up all hours of the day and night, running around with different makeup and clothes get all muddy and shit like that and get sprained ankle. Oh, man, that hurts so bad. But at the end of the day, you will be buff. Holy shit. Strength training 101. No! We didn't want to go in the box. No, we didn't want to fall out of the box. Let me in! Me out. There we go. Uh, God, I just I, I love this game so much now. I didn't know how it was gonna be, but you know, now that I'm playing it, it's everything I wanted it to be. Wow, over his head, you couldn't under. Yeah, there we go. And his aim was true. bunny. And we got him. That's where we ran into those bandits before. Uh 
How did we get up here? We did, yeah, we did this tricky jump. I might fire off the bow a little too much, but that's because I'm a little trigger happy. <laughs> it's like, hurrah! You can actually fire off two bow... Mm, two arrows. Pretty close. Mm. I did it before with the other bow. I think this one's a little too strong. Or fast. Whatever. It's one of those. <laughs> I was able to fire off two arrows simultaneously. Not anymore, it seems. Oh god, Brontes! There we go. We got leather and meat for that, so that was decent. Whoa. There we go. And he hit me, which was great, but whatever. Let's keep traveling this direction. dug this out during the night. We can see all of the terrain around us during the day. Get some things up there I would like to kill. Whoa! I can be careful not to jump into that fire. I have a nasty habit of doing that. I'm just killing everything. <laughs> oh! Okay. That was a uh, relief. How did we get up here? Yeah, we did. It's like, huh, did we get up there? Yeah. All right. Whoa. Oh, juked. Yeah. We're pro now. We're pro hunter. Sort of, maybe. For now. We built that. Okay, so we're getting pretty close to where we were before. Come on. Come on. Any new challenges? Not really. God, the sword is crazy good. The knockback really makes it. Oh! I did not realize you would be that dangerous. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Well, that's a lot of copper. And there's some iron down there. We'll probably get that in a bit. Get some coal. I'm trying to map out this planet to my best of my ability. Okay. The controls are really smooth. It's not clunky at all. I thought it would be clunky when I first first saw the game. It was like, oh, look at me, Brrr. you know. It looks it looks like it would be more difficult than it is, but it isn't. The game is difficult. The controls aren't. I should say that. Okay, so we're passing by a lot of good materials here and there. There's a lot of materials. Ah! Okay, we killed him. Charizard. Got Charizard. There we go. <laughs> Forgive me for shouting out random Pokemon names. That's what they remind me of. Uh, oh, wow, this one. Power is with that one there. Just missing them left and right. Got more grapes. More grapes. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious. Yeah! <laughs> So, what would be my suggestions for playing this game? Ooh, we have another chest. I would suggest you... Thank you. Laughable Badger. And that is a poison weapon, which is pretty cool. Decrepit... Tick, trick, whatever. <laughs> saxophone? Wow. I wonder if we can play the saxophone. We have more bombs. You know what? We're going to try that in a moment. Let me grab this uh, chest. Let's try to play the saxophone. Saxophone, saxophone. Whoa! What? 
Choose a song? Oh my god, that is so badass! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wow. I... I'm gonna leave off the video here, because this is like the perfect way to end it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my song. <laughs> I'm Garrett O'Camber. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and let me know uh, if there's something you'd like to see. Yeah. Uh, you can play a saxophone! Holy shit!